All right, welcome back here to our Queen City Hometown Tour, where we're up here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, live from Boone today. And what a special place this is. It's always one of the uh, be greatest places to come visit if you haven't got a chance to do so. And, you know, a lot of people come up here during this time for the fall because of the leaves changing. It's a special time to see all the exploding colors and the foliage and all the mountain ranges. And uh, just a, a great time to sp spend time. If you come here, you're going to go probably to King Street because that is a fun spot to go to. Uh, everyone loves going down to King Street. That's where I am right now. As we get everyone situated mm -hmm. around, we see King Street over there uh, uh, with our cameras, and Maureen is not far from us. You spent some time on King Street, and it's really kind of a, an eclectic mm -hmm. place where it's got these old stores, the new stores, a blend of the old and new, and certainly a lot of fun after App State football games as well. Yeah, Brian, King Street is the place to be here in Boone, probably during a football game, but even here on a Thursday because it represents the unique and the eclectic people who call Boone home. It's a place for old and new. Where past and present intertwine, all meeting on King Street the heartbeat of Boone. Out of the 53 years, it started really picking up about 25 years ago. One who's watched it all change is Daryl Watson. He's not sure how people would describe him. I don't have any idea. <laughs> He's a non old cowboy, there you go, how's that? But he knows how they describe his store he started 53 years ago. Boots, boots, boots. It's you, true. A cowboy in a mountain town, running one of the oldest businesses on King Street. Because it's a mountain town a community. Everybody knows everybody, and it was just down to earth. And just down the way, there's one of the newest. Kind of a new chapter for downtown. There's a lot of fresh wind that's been coming into downtown. This summer, Josiah Davis opened Venture Chocolate and Wine Company, transforming their historic space into something sweeter. So we got to kind of come and reinvigorate that and tell our own story. As I mean, Doc Watson used to play music right over here. All along King Street, there's an eclectic blend of businesses, some that keep the past alive and others ushering in a new chapter for Boone. I think it's just small enough and being in the mountains that it just kind of fosters a really strong community. From chocolate. The favorite thing about Boone, me. <laughs> to cowboys. The great part about life is being part of other people's stories. Really, that's what you enjoy. King Street is a place for all kinds of stories. The old and the new. There's a lot to love about Boone. It is old, it is new, and there is some efforts for historic preservation here, like the post office, which is where I'm standing, but also people are really embracing those new businesses that are moving in, and as they try to make their mark on Boone and the history that's being made, and then the history that will come. Brian? Yeah, just a wonderful blend, and the story told it all right there, what you were talking about. I love that, uh, just with the cowboys <laughs> and also with the chocolate. Maureen, thanks. Appreciate <laughs> it. I want to bring in the mayor uh, of Boone right now, Mayor Tim Futrell. And uh, you were just watching the story that Maureen had there with a lot of pride about saying, just love the downtown businesses. The heart and soul of any kind of community is the small businesses you have. It's amazing. Yeah, uh, Brian, thank you for coming, and, and welcome to beautiful Boone. We ordered a little bit of color for you. I hope you don't mind. Uh, but... We, you know, just to start with downtown, it, it's an amazing uh, experience and just a, there's such a great feeling here of, of the old and the new. We've got amazing businesses here. You know, you may have heard of Mass General Store. Mm -hmm. You may have heard of uh, Farm Cafe. We've got, a, we've got a cafe here where you just come as you are and have, uh, and have a great meal. A lot of fun uh, Pay places. what you can. Yeah. yeah, and you know, and a lot of people come up here during this time because you have the foliage and mm. you're talking about all these great colors. And that's why you really look forward to this time of year, don't you? Oh, I love it. I mean, I'm a fall guy anyway, but uh, just when you're, when you're walking around or you're riding around here and you, and you just look at, up at the hills and you, you just see it's on fire. And that's just amazing. You know, all the different colors that you can see. Gotta this is what fall is. Yeah. It, you know what we were talking about, too, the blend of the old and new. Uh, yes. Boone, a very progressive town in the sense that you've got a plan of place and for green energy going forward. Absolutely. So, we're, look, we're very forward thinking. We're actually the first municipality in the state to go 100% renewable. We use uh, hydroelectric and solar. 
Um, and and to be able to do that is just a, an amazing achievement. We're so proud of what we're able to do. And this is just the start. We're not slowing down. Uh, so we're, we're that town where you can come and you can see the, the history of Boone. You can see the history of North Carolina. 150 years of Boone we're celebrating this year. And uh, but you can also see innovation. You can also see uh, just a bright perspective on the future and how we we take hold of the challenges that we have before us. Uh, and some of the challenges too are growth. Obviously, you have Appalachian State here, which doubles your uh, uh, people here from twenty to forty thousand exactly right. people. But yeah. Appalachian State's a, a great community steward. Look, I just actually had a meeting with Appalachian State this morning, and what they're doing with uh, ha trying to help us handle parking issues, trying to help us handle the housing issues issues that we have uh, here in Boone. They are taking responsibility for themselves in a way that really deserves a lot of recognition and a lot of credit. And you came to Boone how long ago? Over 20 years. 20 years ago. You followed your wife here, right? I did. I followed like any smart man. Uh, I followed my wife. He was going to Appalachia yeah, State, right. and now he leads the town. That's right. Following the yeah. lead of the town. It's great. Mayor yeah. Tim from Trail, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you so much. so much. Hey, enjoy your stay. Yeah. Uh, a great place to visit for anyone who wants to come up. We'd love to have you. Come um, on. We love it. I appreciate it. And, you know, and many, many of the things about Boone, and not only the fall foliage, but coming up here in a few weeks, it's going to be talking about these uh, ski resorts. It's going to be snowing around town everybody likes to go do that and uh that's going to be a fun spot but also brett baldeck has a great spot too he's going to be talking uh right now uh, about a garden that's open to the public that everyone can go visit